So, Photokina has come and passed. It was like Christmas for camera nerds, but we all left disappointed, our hearts bleeding. I kept the blood in a little bowl, so I didn't lose much. But now that every company has revealed their hand, I want to evaluate which camera company now is best for video. If you're just getting into video, whether it's YouTube vlogging like this that takes literally zero skill, or filmmaking like penguin mating habits of the Appalachian Mountains, which camera would be best for you? Let's find out. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So before Photokina and before Nikon and Canon showed their embarrassing hands at poker, Canon laid down a seven. They were just like, I have a seven. Did I win? You didn't win, Canon. The seven is not a good hand. You should have folded or bluffed, but you didn't either. Nikon had a pair of threes with a seven high. And while they did win the hand, they were asked to leave the building because they smelled like a sock puppet that had been dipped in oregano. So, so in this post Photokina world, and we're still waiting for that Sony a7S III and the Sony a7000, which is getting weird rumors deflected up and down. We don't know what the hell is going to happen there. Who's ruling right now? I would say before Photokina and the Nikon and Canon announcements, it was Sony. Sony was up there with their a7 III, perfect camera, no flippy screen. I swear to God, I swear to loving Japanese God right now. Just go look at every single Sony a7 lineup video review, and it's like, amazing just i wish it had that flippy screen everybody is asking for it and they won't do it does sony not understand that if they just flipped it out they would win that's the only reason people are buying canon 6 d2s that's the only reason they're gonna buy a canon eos r nobody is like just do it so right now for video, if I was just doing this, what I'm doing right now with a camera filming me in my house, I'm not moving, I'm not holding it. It'd be hard not to go with the Sony a7 III right now, just because they have all the lenses that I would want. The new systems don't have any lenses, so it's going to take years for Canon R and Nikon Z Loser 7 to catch up, and they may never catch up. The only reason you would buy a Canon R over the Sony a7 III is the flip out screen and possibly the tap to follow works better. Little things like that. It's just like usability. Oh, this is easier to use, but it has no Ibis. <laughs> Ibis. It's a piece of shit and it has no lenses right now that I would buy. I'm waiting. Maybe. If you come out with a 16 to 35 that's different, but listen to what Canon's doing here. They have their new mirrorless camera. Look, we're smaller now. And then they make bigger lenses. Their 50 1.2 is bigger than their DSLR lens. Better quality, but bigger and heavier and more expensive. The opposite direction of where you should be going. Still, even though it's a mediocre camera, autofocus, good. Flippy screen, usability factor off the roof. I would buy it. I would buy it, but they need better lenses, and they don't have them right now, and I ain't no investing in no EF lenses. That's going to die out. DSLRs are dead. Maybe not for professional photographers, but for jackasses like me, they're dead. Apparently, these shorter flange distances to the sensor, from the mount to the sensor, means that the wide-angle lenses are easier to make. They're better. They can be smaller and lighter. I want to see that. If Canon can come out with a 16 to 35 F3 stabilized lighter than their current F4 on the EF, I buy it. So Canon just has that usability factor and even though the Sony would be better with better lenses, I'd have to jimmy up some sort of rig to see myself, maybe a mirror behind the thing. 
It's like they lose face tracking when you put in a monitor or the Wi-Fi app. They lose face tracking. Like, oh, who needs that? I couldn't see myself. Okay, cool. It tracks my... Oh, no, it doesn't. Hmm. Good one. Nikon, from what I'm seeing, are like the worst of all worlds right now. That would be the dumbest system to buy into. Their autofocus is not reliable. From what I'm seeing, it loses. People are just saying that. It's like it tracks for a bit and then it loses it. It's not solid like the Sony's or the Canon's. So that sucks. And they have no flippy screen. So they don't have the usability of Canon. What do they have? They have shitty lenses. That's what they have. The S line stands for sucks sticks. Their lenses suck sticks. They're shit. It's the bottom tier. They're plasticky. People are like, oh, they click. They're clicking. Clicking means breaking. I think Nikon will be out of business in like three years tops. We'll make a whole video on that. Fuji. They have hope. But not a lot of hope. There's a little bit of hope. Like a kid. Oh, Christmas tomorrow. I wonder if I'll get that thing. No, you're not going to get it. You're gonna get a slap in the mouth. Fuji gave us a bunch of great video specs in a body that has no stabilization or flippy screen. Flipped it the wrong way as a joke, just a cruel joke. And it's like, why would anybody buy that? If they throw all that tech into the X-H2, then we got something. But right now that's a fairy mystery, fairy tale of mysteries. It may never happen. It's like you'd be better off wishing and waiting for Bigfoot to marry a dwarf now Panasonic is the dark horse here. Immediately, I was disappointed because they got no flip out screen, but I'm hearing rumblings, frickin' rumblings, that they might actually put the flip out screen. I'm hearing people say it. It's like, oh no, it will flip out. This one didn't. It flipped that way, and eventually we'll hinge it that way. Although I don't get the physics. How do you turn it that way and still have a hinge on this side to do it that way? It doesn't their camera needs to be made in the matrix. And then if you believe it can flip the other way, it can, but if you don't believe it, it won't. You have to believe. And while everybody is dissing the depth from deflection autofocus, they might have something. They might do it. With artificial intelligence injected alien DNA into the motherboard, Contrast detection is accurate. It's very accurate. They might be able to do it. They might. It might be better than phase detection. Plus, they get rid of the banding issues from a phase detected sensor. They might have the best autofocus. We don't know. It's another fairy tale in the wondrous land of Hippie Town. But it could happen. And if they flip out that screen, which they might, we might have something. Although then there, we got to wait for their lenses. They don't have any lenses. Give me a wide angle lens. I think their IBIS is going to be good though, because their body's bigger. They took a GH5 and made it bigger. Sensor, bigger. Body didn't grow as big as the sensor, but comparatively so with advances in technology, they might do it. Honestly though, we're filming here on the Panasonic G85 with my manual focus lens. It's a pain in the ass to use. I gotta focus it and then go back and forth, focusing with the super magnified view, and I never get it. I never get it. We're in a low light situation, grainy footage. It's a piece of shit, but right now, I don't see an upgrade path. Usability wise, the Canon M50 would actually be better for me right now. But I just, I don't believe in that system. I don't think they're gonna continue it and put much effort in. They're gonna go with that RF mount. They are coming out with a new lens, but I think it's just like, look, we did something. And then they're not gonna do anything for like two years after that lens. It's like that whole system, the lenses suck. I, would, I don't think I would ever buy into an M series system, losers. So the answer is, there is no perfect camera. It's still not out, we're still waiting for it. But if you need the usability, 
If you're making this video right here, the Canon R would be great eventually when there's good lenses. The Nikon would be okay, but the autofocus wouldn't be as good and they need lenses. So the Canon has more advantages than the Nikon. Right now, Sony a7 III would be better than both, but you can't see yourself, so you have to jimmy up a rig. And you could use some sort of zone focus. I imagine I could put a spot here and it would stay on me. But if I'm vlogging out in the street, the stabilization isn't as good, but it's doable. But then you'd have to, the way I like to vlog, I go with one hand, I say stuff, and then my mind F's up, and I'm like, oh, okay, we switch hands here. And then I switch to this hand. It's a whole new scene, whole new video. I've redeemed myself. So I like to switch. What would happen to my focus point? Do I have to switch it each time to do my rule of thirds? I vlog in the rule of thirds. I'm always in that thirds rule. Look how cinematic it is. I like doing that. Nobody does that. I hate people that just film right straight on and really close. Just that is your shot. Go to hell if this is your shot. Learn from me. My dream right now is the Sony a7000 comes out bigger body, just like the a7s lineup, but APS-C sensor with better stabilization, flippy screen, new lenses announced, a whole roadmap of holy shit lenses coming, APS-C. I would dive deep into that system. I would sell this to my grandmother. May she rest in peace. It's our only hope, because the A7S III, I think we all know it ain't gonna have no flippy screen, and it's gonna, I don't like the way Sony's operating here, looking at all the other camera releases, and then judging from a balcony, and they're like, hmm, okay, they added that. And then they're gonna beat it all, but it's gonna cost more, I think. They're gonna beat it too much. They're gonna beat everybody up and then charge money for it. It's like a hitman. So we'll have to wait and see. Play that waiting game. I hope some, at least some rumors start coming out soon. Getting itchy here. Just waiting for rumors. Can you hear that? So I think we're done. We're done here. Thanks for watching the video. What do you think? Are you buying any of these new announces? Announcements? It was English. Are you getting the Canon R? Anybody getting it? Post down below. I would get it. I'm still waiting to win it. You can win it. Post. There's a link down below for a contest. If you join it, you might win. Who's buying the Nikon? Nobody. Nobody's bought that thing. That'll come out in my Nikon going out of business video. So stay tuned for that. And I think we're done. I already said that. I'm gonna leave. I'm just gonna go. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one.